Welcome everyone, this is Greg Ferris. Today you'll be watching the episode one of my deload series. I'll be breaking down uh, just benefits of deloads and how you can implement deloads and not just think they're a waste of your time. So I'll be giving you guys a few tips, uh, just short videos. So the tip, the first tip I wanna talk about today which is using deloads as a, a time to really perfect your form and just practice these lifts. You know, I always, I always draw comparisons between just being a former athlete, between you know weightlifting and you know other sports, it's basketball, football, baseball, tennis, whatever. And it's funny, you know, the common denominator in a lot of those sports is just you know repetition, repetition as far as their craft, you know whatever it is, you know shooting a basketball, hitting a baseball, tennis ball, you know whatever it is. It just takes time, and it's just you know hours every single day of doing that activity. Well. People don't really think of, of weight training and strength training and bodybuilding as the same thing. But if you think about it, you're, you're doing these motions. And at the end of the day, if you're doing these motions more often, you're going to get better at them. So using a DLO week especially to, you know, I, you see I have my volume listed up there. Of course, my volume is really, my intensity is really low this week. But my volume, you know, I was getting quite a few reps in, you know, eight sets of squats you see there. So it's just getting used to the movement, you know, correcting correcting little uh, things you see wrong in your form. Definitely recommend people, you know, video tell, videotape themselves once in a while, just to kind of see, you know, where their problem areas are. I definitely, um, definitely saw it to be beneficial for me, especially with the heavy movements like that I typically have on camera, you know, the squats, the deadlifts, you know, there's, there's things that you definitely can't see, obviously, when you're doing the movement, that when you actually go back and watch, you can pick up on, just help yourself. So again, but the main thing I want to talk about in this first episode, though, was just not to overlook the importance of just being really, really good at the movement. You know, of course, you're going to have to get stronger. Of course, you're going to have to use, you know, heavy enough weight and things like that. But at the same time, just don't underestimate the power that it can have to simply just go in there and squat and squat and squat and squat. And you can definitely tailor it to whichever movements you need to work on. So that's kind of my first tip, guys. Again, this will probably be a three to four part series. Hopefully you guys find it's beneficial. But like I said, weightlifting is a skill and doing these movements over and over again is going to help you um, just per perfect your craft. So that's it for this episode, guys. Make sure you check out episode two, which will include some flexibility and mobility tips that you can use on your deloads and really anytime. So take care, guys.